want to be known for the Freddie <coughs> Murphy Festival. You don't want to be known as a place where a black man can go get in his car, ride his bike, he can get tased and killed. That's not what you want to be known for. No. <coughs> and Miss Jackson, I say to you, because you're here, that as a journalist and any journalist in here will let you know this, you don't ever want anybody else to tell your story. <coughs> you want to tell it first. That's right. Because what is told first is what people are going to more likely believe. That's right. So you all need to get some PR people in here to do whatever you got to do. Because no comment, I don't want to comment, I don't know what's going on, that's not going to do. Because when I go and investigate and I write the story with the largest African American paper in the state geographically and I put it out, <laughs> tell you what, when I tell it, you might not like how I tell it. Hmm. And, I'm, and, and my thing is, I'm still going to be impartial, but the way I put it together, that's what you're not going to like. Right. Yes. Get somebody yes. in here. Yes. We got to stop, people. We have to stop. If Jesus walked in here right now, and half of you folk bust the doors of the church wide open every Sunday. <laughs> White and black, talking about how you love Jesus. But it says, how can you love my father who you've never seen? If you can't love each other. You can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Place should be full of ministers. How many in here? Pastors, how many in here? One. Two. Two. Place should be four because guess what? On Sunday morning we are preaching this, but on Monday morning we don't live it. I love everybody. How can you love everybody? How? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Not as they do unto you, but as you would have them do unto you. And nobody here would have somebody to tase them and them to lose their life. So be the Christians that you say you are. Because I have a funny feeling that many of us are going to stand before the judgment bar mm. and you're going to be ashamed of us. Hallelujah! Yes, is, sir. Is there, a, is there a video or written record of Mr. Shields' dismissal of this matter? I want to publicly request it through a member or someone of this city I don't well, know if you all video your council. No, there, there's no official uh, videoing. Uh, there, there are individuals who videotape. Uh, Ms. Hopkins over there uh, videotapes well, the it. And the, minutes the, um, the minutes are available. Uh, Ms. Jackson has them. I will have Ms. Hopkins. We need that. And also, yeah, we're going to, to formally tomorrow approach the Attorney General of the state all right. to let them know that we are. Um, deeply behind this, this investigation. Yes, sir. And also tomorrow, Brother Harvey and I and our attorneys will be contacting the U.S. Justice Department. All right. To look at the All right. Uh, anything else? Any more? Anybody, anyone else have any, any words? Any other? Uh, Ms. Jackson, come up. Come up. Oh. You don't mind. <laughs> I'm kind of also a student. My name is Kendra Jackson, and I've been residing ever since I was younger. And my major concern is the safety of this town. I don't feel safe at all. And when I have a three-year-old that can come to me and tell me that she's tired of staying here because of gunshots, she don't even want to go outside and play. It's a problem. It's a big problem. Not only three old, I know everybody that's got kids can say the same thing. The light bill is my second concern. 
a three-year-old that's in the dorm and you let a light bill go up to about $2,000 and you expect a um, single parent to pay that light bill with no income, you can't even make a dollar. That's right. And you expect somebody to pay that light bill, no sympathy, no empathy coming from the sound of Scotland. Mm -hmm. We separated and we've been that way for years. It needs to be a change. Mm -hmm. Each one of us, white or black, we need to pull together. Mm -hmm. It's praying time. It's time to get yeah. serious. Oh, no yeah. matter what yeah. we are, we should be together on one accord in this time. People are taking over the city and we need to bring it back together in one. It shouldn't be just the white folks section, it's the black folks section. No, it should be together as one. And I stand to bring back the time to stop the thing. I'm young, but I'm going to do it somehow, some way, and I'm not going to stop the suicide. I'm going to bring it back to stop the thing. Yes. Yes. Anyone else? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, <laughs> Okay, well, if I came down to the town and asked her to make a private letter and then you didn't get your answer. I understand. One, the first question we want to know is, is what is the criteria on hiring these officers for this time? I mean, do they have to uh, go to some kind of school? Do they have to be uh, something? What? I mean, you just... What are, what are the criteria for hiring one? Okay, um, it's best that, let Ms. Jackson answer that. She's a town administrator, and the police uh, report to Ms. Jackson. They don't report to me at all. Ms. Jackson, what's the criteria? You do have to pass basic law enforcement training. Basic law enforcement training. Uh -huh. okay. Well, um, Now, um, so when you hire a, a new officer, if he just passed this test, what what kind of um, responsibility do the uh, police department have for him? Who is, is he supposed to be constantly under supervision or, um, you know, what, do they just get the ride free and, and do as they will? And who's responsible for that person when they make a mistake? Um, <laughs> Chief Joe Williams and Ms. Nancy Jackson. They were responsible. So if someone is hired and, and make a, okay, they say it's a tragic mistake. Mm -hmm. okay, we understand that. That's tragic. And um, now this young man, he, uh, he made a tragic mistake. Is that because he was... Uh, Inexperienced, uh, didn't care, or uh, 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 the department didn't care. Uh, you know, if that is the case, who is going to uphold his part? I mean, when, when when the justice comes, don't you think more than that young man should have a part of the blame? Is that possible? Um, I, I, and as far as I know, I don't know how far the uh, criminal justice system goes, but um, but I'm, I'm not sure who beyond the officer, if there's any um, criminality involved, who else would be responsible. But I do know that the people who have the power to uh, you know, have responsibility. Okay, well. To be the uh, city administrator, how how do you get that job? What what is the criteria for being a city administrator? What do you have to do to be a to be in charge of the city? Ms. Jackson, tell them what you have to do to be in charge of the city. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just curious. What, what well, the first thing you have to be is hired by the board. Oh my God, hired by the board. 